and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Is It Alliance. Let's bring this deck back. We played it just a few days ago, and while we didn't do that well with the deck, we went like one and two in our three games. I think we had the wrong top end in here. You know, I was playing Ral, Is It Viceroy, and I had uh, commenced the end game to go along with it. Uh, then, of course, a couple six mana Chandras also. And Ral and, and Commence both underperformed quite a bit. And really, I just wanted more Chandras and then also Niv Mizzet because of all of the counterspell decks running around. And so we have <clears throat> we have a different top end now with the uh, two Niv Mizzets, three Chandras. We got an extra Chandra in the board also. That's a lot of can't be countered spells. So with all of the counter spells running around, like um, a big part of the metagame is Simic Flash, and then Is It Flash is right there too. <clears throat> we have some really heavy hitters up at the top, but that's not what the engine of our deck's about. Our deck's about playing Improbable Alliance, and really, if we can get multiple Improbable Alliances, that's that'd be really nice. And Iron Crag Pyromancer, getting these two cards in play, and then being able to draw two cards a turn, and then make. Uh, you know, a 1-1, one, one, if we have two of these in play, make two 1-1s one, each turn uh, that we do that. Lightning Bolt something each turn that we do that with Iron Crag Pyromancer. Our main engine cards to enable both of those cards is, of course, the Royal Scions. It lets us draw that extra card every single turn. But then we still have cards like Crackling Drake that also just trigger them and put a good body out into play. Opt triggers them, Thrill of Possibility can trigger it on, the, on, their, on their turn on its own. So we got a lot of good stuff going on here. Um, we're playing Bone Crusher Giant instead of Shock, basically because of how good of a card Bone Crusher Giant is. Even though Shock at one mana, and how it works with with Crackling Drake, Niv Mizzet it has some really good synergies. But Bone Crusher Giant's basically too powerful to play Shock instead. Um, anyway, uh, that's that's it here for. Uh, what our deck's got going on. Let's see how it does. I'm a little worried about how we'll do against some of the... Uh, here is it Alliance. Some of the decks that can grind a lot, like some of the Edgewall Innkeeper decks, but I think we have a lot of good stuff here. Uh, I think John Sacrifice could be kind of tough because we're not really interacting with the artifacts and enchantments, so John Sacrifice could be tough here. All right, so let's see how let's see what this <clears throat> how this deck performs. It doesn't you, you don't see a whole lot of this kind of deck in standard that much. So, you know, it may not perform super well, but it felt it felt good whenever we were playing it last time. It felt good except for just I didn't have the correct top end. We'll just kind of keep it and see what see what happens. See what we need to find with the opt. You want to join us, Hawkeye? Hmm. I can just grab a land out of the deck to start with. Just guy. I'm hoping this is like a control deck and not 
um, fires with a bunch of big creatures that they're going to be playing real fast. Because if it's like a control deck, then you know, like our Niv Mizzets and our Chandra, you know, give us some time to set up, basically. Here goes nothing. It's unreal. We don't we don't actually have that many lands in this deck. This is just kind of unreal. There's 25. You know, like it's not like it's a ton. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven out of the 25 lands. Nope, their their hands busted. I've got time. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> so when they were gonna have a slower hand, they did not. They're discarding Kenrith. So if they have that kind of hand, like we're not gonna really be winning. This is gonna be this is another kind of a tough matchup. Want to face like this? We want to face the counterspell decks and the small creature decks. This is not really either. And so we could try turning into just like an is it control deck, I suppose. Just try to counter stuff. Fry kills Kenrith, Cavalier of the Blue Cavalier, and it kills Teferi. And most importantly, killing Teferi here with us playing all these blue spells. Coil's basically just killing. It's not killing a lot. It's just killing that uh, that Sphinx, which Fry also kills. I'm kind of nervous about putting, of taking out Coil completely though, and then having enough removal. We don't need removal. That seems like famous last words. All right, I'll, it's hard to put in all this stuff. I guess I'm gonna just take out the alliances. <laughs> yeah, I did, Drug Wizard. Yeah, I modified those uh, channel point prices. Lowered those. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. You just sitting up here on the desk. Hmm. 
Uh, this keeps them from drawing. Like Narset shuts down the uh, shuts down the blue cavalier very well. Also, it's good against the red cavalier. It doesn't let them draw extra cards with the fairy, but it, it's it's amazing against the blue cavalier. But just in general, it's just for control matchups. I really think they have Dovin's Veto. Okay, they had Dispute. Which is why I didn't want to play Narset into Dispute last turn. Because I thought they had Veto. As far as, like, I think that Narset's better right now, and Royal Signs would be better after Niv-Mizzet. As far as those go. Hmm, no veto. The focus and discipline encounter no obstacles. Hone your prowess. Well, they shocked turn two. For the, I guess for Bone Crusher Giants, I was thinking for Dovin's veto. But it's for Bone Crusher Giants. But yeah, they may have shocked turn one also. For dispute, I guess I didn't really pay attention to turn one, or didn't register that. Yes, I understand that they they did shock a second time, but the, there was the turn two shock that I that registered that I was thinking of. <laughs> Why is Niv off center? I don't know. Niv doesn't like being left out of standard right now. Niv doesn't like Narset? That could be it too. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Up here. Utterly is the 
best way to destroy things. So I'm, I'm hoping to draw another land here and be able to have niv at plus negate next turn. Which that's more useful than Chandra plus negate. Because we'd want, we'd want niv to be able to block. We can kind of kind of assume that they have another Bone Crusher Giant in hand, or maybe a Deafening Clarion, some, something to do, something that deals damage with them making that attack last turn with the 4-4 four, four into the Niv Mizzet. Someone's getting a little sweaty. I haven't had any targets for negate yet since I've drawn the negate. There hasn't been anything to negate yet. But since I've had mana untapped, that is. Still kind of assume that they have another Bone Crusher Giant in hand. That's a terrible play. I mean, I guess it's not terrible if you can make that attack. Because of the haste. I guess that makes it not terrible. Never mind. My opponent knew what they were doing. I was wrong. I don't know what I'm really gonna realistically be able to draw here. I think I, I think I may be dead. Okay, never mind, not dead. Found something. I guess I should have kept Royal Scions. I thought I was dead, though. Okay. 
Because, yeah, because, yeah, even if, I was thinking, like, Lava Coil would still be dead, but I thought I boarded him out. Hmm. So there's just a really good attack earlier with it, them attacking with the 4-4, like the Sphinx just into the niv -Mizzet. They They ended up not having anything. That was a really good attack by them to get that 4 damage in. So they look very well in hand to take this over, especially with not having the real Scions now. Should've got rid of the Negate. This brazen borrower should kill me. And, but then they got the scries. Yep. They outplayed me that game. But that's not a matchup that I ever want to face again <laughs> with this deck. We want decks built around counter spells. And. Counter spells and small creatures, which is a lot of the format. That could be a really good card pair with Royal Scions, but let's look for land. Yeah, I think so, Toti. No, Toti was asking. That was a question. That's what the question mark at the end of that is about. It's more likely that we hit our third land drop by keeping the opt. Because if we if we put it to the bottom, we're drawing this card. If we keep it, we can either draw the second or the third card. We, of course, want it to be an untapped land so I can just use a Bone Crusher Giant here. Alright, so we would have... We would have been able to hit this Pyromancer. <clears throat> I want to kill that before like a Venerate Luxodon comes down. Hmm. I'm just gonna do my best play. Even though that means they may draw another card. I think over time the Pyromancer is gonna be worth more than that. Should be a slaughter from here. I need a hand, Will. Hey, Gar. All right, make Orzov value great again. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, they did. Pyromances. All right, we'll bring in a couple flame sweeps. How are we feeling about Fry here? They have some white creatures, but not a ton. I think I may just want a couple flame sweeps. Hmm. Could just take out six drops. I mean, I could just take out the two Niv Mizzets. Yeah, I probably should just do that. The Mizzets are just fine. Like, they're great, though, but I should probably just cut six drops on the draw. All right, Orzov value. What, Gar, when? when, What day, what time slot? When do you want me to play Orzov value? Well, 
Well, we got the thrill of possibility, so I think we can keep. So I could either kill the Pelt Collector that's going to grow, or I could kill the two 1-1 one, one tokens. And hope they don't get to attack with the Love Struck Beasts. Hope they don't have another 1-1. One, one. I kind of like that plan. We need to draw land, though. Well, that plan didn't really work. It does feel like that 5-5 five five is probably... It's one of like the only things that's going to kill me. Could have Ether Gust. Hey, there we go. Yeah, so Gar, what, what day, what time slot do you want me to play that? But, you know, if we can make some chump blockers with Improbable Alliance and everything... I don't... This is the card that I kind of want to play Ether Gust for that 5-5, five five, but I don't really know where I'd want to play it. I think I'm just not going to. Tomorrow, first slot. Okay. So, Friday, first slot. Good play. Dang, good call discarding the land. Call discarding that land. Dang, that was a bunch of them. So probably just playing another crackling Drake here and then shocking for opt. means then I would be shocking for Chandra next turn. All right, now we're not shocking for Chandra next turn. Let's 
course, we want to go Chandra minus three. So yeah, Chandra will clear up the Serpent. Don't have to worry about it too much. They got seven card hand still. But we'll be fine. Definitely be fine. Attack with Stone Coil Serpent. Yeah, we good. Small creature deck. We did good against. There we go. We want to play the small creature deck. We want to play the deck built on counter spells and small creatures. Either one. That was a small creature deck. Storm, you gotta teach me how to do that. Hell collector. I know this is a pelt collector format. All right, we'll ship up to the bottom. Hit that Spellbreaker, crush its bones. Best card opponent could have, of course, is Questing Beast. Hopefully they don't. But Questing Beast will be annoying. We have these four threes for, like, defense right now. Okay, there we go. Um, hmm. I guess I'd have to discard something. I discard Mountain. Do I discard Crackling Drake? That's kind of weird. Do I just play Crackling Drake? No, because I'm going to want to play this thing. I guess I'm going to discard Crackling Drake. But then I trigger this. Do I, why do I even need to trigger that right now? I guess I don't. I guess I can't do damage now because that thing has hexproof. Yeah, maybe I'll just play the Crackling Drake to draw. I was thinking. Gosh. I was thinking have the 4 3 out to match the 4 to be able to block the 4 4. They're down to three cards. I 
have to like use an entire Chandra just to kill that thing now. Oh, what a turn. That was not good. I was, if we would have drawn a land, I was planning on just using the, the Chandra to kill this. Dang. That was really unfortunate. Those three cards there are not a land. All right, so we'll have Ether Gust. And negate. I'm gonna just take out the alliances that make like little one ones. I think the one ones are just too small. Negate can counter ambush, can counter ember cleave. Let's play a couple of negates. Yeah, Ambush is an amazing card. That card is awesome. Language. I guess QQ's power... QQ's power is out to the bot that usually deletes messages like that isn't working. Hey, Wowzers. Yeah, as, as far as I know, Disco, Crisco, but I'm not 100% sure. We replaced the... Um, replaced the... I replaced the cord in the microphone, and it seems to be working now. At least people aren't. At least people aren't complaining about it. I, you know, I don't know. I can't tell, but people aren't complaining about it anymore. Anyway, Wowzers is a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Wowzers. Thanks for the support. I don't really like our hand here. I don't like having only two lands. It's a really unfortunate game to lose. Match to lose. I thought we had that first one pretty locked up. And this one is just... We just don't even get to play Magic. Ugh, that was a really unfortunate match to lose. Because, you know, like, it shows like a loss and people will think worse about this deck, but we just didn't get to play Magic. Then we got triple... Triple ambushed there, and I don't know. That was just really awkward. Thanks, Wowzers. <clears throat> I mean, if we'd have drawn like a six land and had Chandra kill that six six that last game, maybe would have had a shot. I guess Arena's just broken. Hey, Andre. You definitely have those sometimes in Magic, like where you have a, a loss where 
you really wish you could just go back and replay it. But don't get to do that. You know, like the the Jess guy fires will be lost too. Is that's not one I'd want to go back and, and replay. That that's one that you know you I'd accept, and it's like yeah, that that deck be me. It's a bad matchup. No, yeah, this is not this is not Jaya Ballard. That that is not Jaya. Temple of Mystery. So I want to land to get to Nimizit. But I also want something to start drawing cards to these pyromancers. I'm gonna try putting this stuff to the bottom. Yep, looks like some Simic Flash. So it does look like Niv-Miz is going to be really critical. The thing, we have to make sure that whenever we cast Thrill of Possibility, it cannot get countered. Because you cannot discard a card. <clears throat> and then have your spell get countered. You know, like, that's just... That'd be really bad. Man, imagine it getting frilled mystic. Yeah, Niv can't get countered. Um, we have to draw the lands to get there. Let's draw land. The safer play was just to cast Thrill of Possibility and discard either the Drake or the Giant to make sure that we have our six mana this next turn. I did not go for the safe play, and I was rewarded. Because all we need to do is draw one land. It's not too difficult. I... We can play it again next turn. We're not under pressure like against the Jeskai Fires that you can bounce and have a bunch of big creatures out. Let's resolve something right now that we can while well, they don't have counter magic protection. Behold, nature's true power. Do 
Hey, Yara, I'm doing very good. Any challenge. Good, we got to land. So I can have the thrill possibility also. Which I guess I could get countered on their turn, but I wanted to do it on their turn to be able to trigger Improbable Alliance. On their turn. Maybe that's just being greedy and I should just cast it now and I could have killed one of their lands. Why didn't they block with Krasis? Because the Niv-Mizzet first, had first strike and so it had just killed the Krasis. Nimvizit's awesome. Need to be playing Nimvizit last time we played this deck. Okay, I don't know if we were going to be able to kill the Krasis, it was going to be close, it was going to be t depending on what we drew, but that'll do. So a couple Aether Gusts, an extra Chandra, some Fries, Fry helps kill Krasis. Well, what did I want to play? We cut out, take out Bow Crusher Chite, probably. Why no explosion in the deck with Niv? I mean, when you have Niv out, you're winning. You don't need a a card to make Niv better when you untap with Niv Mizza. Like you're fine. I don't think we need Narset for Crisis. I could be wrong though. Ugh. I think I want to take out the Bone Crusher Giants, which leaves me one slot 
It could be fry, could be negate. I think it's either one of those two. I think I want to play one fry or one negate. Probably just a negate. Counter there, counter spells, counter Nissa. Could see playing a dispute. No, probably negate. Oh, yeah, I should probably cut Thrill. Uh, if I cut Thrill, Alliance is going to be a lot worse. And so is Pyromancer. Should I play Bone Crushers instead of Alliance and Pyromancer and Thrill? No. No, we'll just play this. Expansion Explosion is a good card, though. It is. Um, if you would if you would move away from the if you'd just make it as a control and move away from the engine and you'd have more slots expansion explosion is a good quality card let's draw lands that's not a land draw lands that's not a land I can't be greedy. Gotta keep it. <laughs> Lands are overrated. Not a land. Land. I want to play Crackling Drake. What's yeah, what's what's wrong, Pedro? Yeah, Pedro can't see the stream. That's that's the second person that said they can't see the stream. Another person said that earlier. Stay back. And the other person said that they hope it's not too hot for you. That it said it says air number two thousand, and so they they read some advice, they tried cleaning cookies and other browsers and all sorts of stuff. We will prevail. Harness the elements. <sighs> what a warm reception. The force is an elemental, so like Chandra's minus three doesn't work. So I, yeah, I, I can't like minus one this ambusher, then play the new Chandra minus three and kill both of their things. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm? 
storm in here. Oh, maybe the channel set to chat only. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna win this. I guess I need to find like Niv Mizzet or something. Because Chandra doesn't sweep up these lands from Nissa. Maybe I need to play a new Chandra and just kill their Nissa last turn. I really wish I could clear up these things with a minus three. I honestly don't really see a way to win this right now. I mean, Nissa just has me. Good morning, Gates. Get... This is kind of ridiculous. It looked good playing Chandra on the empty battlefield, but then the Ambusher and Nissa combo to be able to untap and do all that damage to the Chandra, then suddenly it did not look so good. I wanted them to use a a counter spell that was not frilled mystic.
Sweet life. We've had a couple of really frustrating matches with this deck. I mean, that just shows the power of Nightpack Ambusher, really. It showed the power of Nissa, then Nightpack Ambusher, two, two games in a row. Hey, Dejooms. Really, ambusher both games. That second game, them having the ambusher for uh, ham having the ambusher to do all that damage to the Chandra really hurts. Also, Yeah, I know Earwig usually watches the stream all the time. What's what's going wrong with the stream? Hmm. What is my strategy here? Thanks, Chad Blue. Good games. I don't know what's going wrong with the stream here. Three people now have come in saying that they that they watch they can watch all the other streams and everything else works except for mine. And that's you know and, and at least one person I recognize is a frequent stream watcher. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's a a location thing. Let me synthesize the facts. Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be local issues. Got to be server base because it's fine for basically everybody else. So I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Yeah, it's weird. Why would it... Yeah, why would they be able to see every other stream except for mine? That is pretty weird. No, they're not the same person, Cross.
I'm doing this right now to grow the Crackling Drake. So I'm looking for a land. There we go, to be able to play Nev Miz at the next turn. I don't know, I guess might as well attack with the Bone Crusher Giant. I wasn't planning on it. It's easy for them to just get the Cauldron Familiar back, but I don't know, they messed up on the Mayhem Devil part. Maybe they messed up here too. Okay, so you just had to reset your modem MC for that to work. So maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. So I'm just going to play the Pyromancer to kill this devil. Keep the mountain in hand, then maybe we discard it to the Royal Scions next turn. One cauldron familiar out of here. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't think they should have played that other trailer crumbs and tapped out because they could have just had two trailer crumbs activations here. See what the top card is. I don't really need that. Fear is a tool. Use it. I hope they can't kill me, but it's a good chance they could kill me. Mayhem Devil is a powerful card. I was feeling good whenever we killed the second Mayhem Devil. This third one hurt, and there's another one around the corner, too, looks like. My opponent has cards, so I...
Yeah, I thought they had lethal. And yep, sure looks like they did. Yeah, they definitely did. I thought that was just enough to kill us. They could have dealt like another 10 damage to me. And I'm at six. My answers lie in the cold truth. I mean, it's still lethal right now, I guess. Even without the Mayhem Devil, it was lethal. With just the familiars in this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I guess Aether Gust. I feel pretty good about this if they don't find all of their Mayhem Devils. I feel pretty good about it. We get to Iron Crag, Pyromancer, some stuff. I guess the alliances aren't good against Devil. I'll play two guys, two negate, and so the alliances. Yeah, so I should have been given the, the giant plus two, plus zero trample earlier. And crash in instead of drawing with Royal Scions. Yeah, need to be more aggressive. I'm fine if they take Thrill of Possibility. Stop drawing lands eventually. To know is to triumph. Now that doesn't get to attack the Royal Scions. They have to have something else to sacrifice. <clears throat> My plan is crystallizing. Stratagem to overcome you. Stay back. I'm an explosive pirate. Okay, good job, Royal Scions.
Sorry, Earwig. Network Error 2000. Okay, let's see. Anything we want to change? No. All right, that's our tenth sub of the day. So that's a sub goal hit towards the next twelve hour stream. Three six drops. Makes me want to mulligan just having three six drops. But we do have a good amount of cards that, you know, like I like having Opt. I like having Bone Crusher Giant. Um, so I kind of want to keep. Like how we have good mana. Opt Bone Crusher and my opponent's mulliganing. What? Hmm. That was not the card I was expecting them to take. I don't know if I should be keeping this. I guess I don't have other ways to draw draw stuff. Shocking in for the steam vents because that, that's the card my opponent knows about. The goose with the attitude. Yeah, I know it triggers their Mayhem Devil. But I'm doing it right now while the one damage isn't as valuable. Where if I do it during their turn, maybe they stack up that one damage.
Mm, so Frank's saying that the modem reset didn't help him. Yeah, Frant can't see the stream either, but can see everybody else's stream except for mine. Like the other people. I need just something to draw a card. Even, that's all I needed. Yay, finally triggered the Pyromancer. Devil's up. The devil is out here. The Deathless Knight. I think it's gonna be a long, long time. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. All right. Two and three. Respectable. So, yeah, is... Is is it Alliance the best deck in the format? No. But I think it is I think it is just a, a pretty good deck. I think it's I think it's pretty solid. Like, you know, we went two and three and at least one of those losses was really frustrating, one that thought that we were gonna be winning. But we didn't. Um I would have to say that d during those games, the actual card Improbable Alliance never really did anything. We didn't draw it too much. The Iron Crag Pyromancer looked awesome, though. Um, there's not really a lot of control in the format where, like, Improbable Alliance kind of can stay out and, and make, like, a bunch of extra 1-1s one for you. So if looking to upgrade the deck, maybe actually the namesake card, the Improbable Alliance, would be something to look into if there's um, something to kind of do to, to upgrade. But yeah, I really liked the Iron Crag Pyromancer. Of course, Bone Crusher was good. Top end of Chandra and of Mizzet were pretty good. Um, Royal Scions did some good work for us, especially with Pyromancer. But we got to Ultimate Royal Scions also. I think there's something here. I think there's something here. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that this list is perfect or anything like that, but I think that there's something here, and that I think that, um, I think that the six mana can't be countered spells are very good, and card like Crackling Drake is still pretty undervalued, and Royal Silence has some good power for a three mana Planeswalker and a whole lot of loyalty. So I think there's something here. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's Is It Alliance. So, yeah, you think uh, the thing about Arclight Phoenix in here is we just it's we're not really casting three three instants and sorcery spells in a turn very often. You'd have to really change the deck up to play Arclight Phoenix. There are as far as instants and sorceries, there's like if you look at how many there are in the deck. Because the stomp part would technically count. So you'd have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 total in the entire deck. Playing 3 in one turn is not reliable when there's only 14 total in the whole deck. Uh, the, there you go. Y'all on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Uh, leave those comments. Do that kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. So better showing for Is It Alliance with the 2-3, but... 
you know, could have been could have been a better record. And I think that there's something here with these cards and something just a little different than what you normally see in standard. So anyway, so thank you so much for watching some Is It Alliance and I'll see you for the next video.